Hello Sagittarius, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using White Newman, a sacred animal tarot created by Alba BG. Website is at the bottom here, liminal11.com. Feel free to check that out if you're interested. Supportive Oracle Cards, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed there are some websites on the back here. Feel free to freeze frame and check that out if you're interested. I found the one I was looking for. It's on the back of the book. Uh, at the end of that paragraph of their picture is the ColetteBearingRead.com website. There's a couple others. Feel free to freeze frame and check out whatever you're interested in. If you are, of course. Of course. Sagittarius. What's going on for Sagittarius? Ooh. So this deck has a couple bonus cards. Um, they're the White Newman and the Black Newman. And the White Newman's a good one. You got that showing up in your environment. Okay, so you got something coming your way really good. Really good. Um, how do we get into it though? Because we're trying to move forward into the next level. This is a situation where it's been better. I feel like this is maybe common to Sagittarius. You start a situation, when you start it, it's good. Usually, I'd say nine times out of ten. When you start something, it feels good. Why else would you go to it? Why else would you do it? Unless you felt like you had to. So, this situation has seen better days. I feel like I'm longing for those better days. Like, when things were better, I want that back. Um, and I'm wondering... I don't know if it's real or not, but I'm wondering if it goes in cycles. I don't know. Whatever the situation is, I'd like to believe it goes in cycles. I don't know if it does. Does it? Because I'm, like, conflicted with that. The Sisters of the Seasons, which I love this card. It's one of my favorites in this deck. Um... Six of Pentacles reversed in the Hierophant. <laughs> um, there's the lack of giving. For this to go to to go in cycles, like the cycles of the season, sisters of the seasons, for this to be... Because this is over to the side, like, I feel like, is this possible? It is. Is it happening? I don't think so. Whatever it takes to keep the cycle going, the other side isn't giving into it feels like it's a person. And if the other person gave in their part, but they're not. They're not putting up their side. Somebody's not giving here. So it's very weird because you have other connections coming in, but whatever the situation you're dealing with that's stressful for you right now, that's a little heavy for you right now, there's, you're not being met halfway. You're trying, but you're feeling like you're sacrificing yourself to do it. Um... And you might be like letting other people kind of getting get the better of you. I hate to say it, but if this reading is hitting, it's hitting. If it's not, it's not. People are kind of getting the better of you at the moment. Even though you are communicating and you are trying and you are putting out there what you want. Um, somebody else is not they're, not, they're not putting up their side. They're not putting in their part of the situation. I understand that like everybody has free will. And this person is exercising their free will to not cooperate. Um, Six of Pentacles reversed is like not not giving as much as they're getting. Somebody is not giving as much as they're getting, and I feel like you're giving a lot. Um, and the five, of, the five of Major Arcana, the Hierophant, they might have gotten into a kind of a selfish rut. Because I see you putting in your effort. I see you putting... You put in a lot, and you're not getting back, and you're feeling like, what? when does my... When does the other half, like, when does the payback come in? Because that's how things work in a healthy way. You put in some energy, you get out some energy. You, like, you throw in 10 bucks, you get back 10 bucks. And it's not like keeping, like, an abacus or, like, a ledger to that strictness. But, like, when you put in, you do nice things for people, they have to do things nice for you if they expect you to keep giving to them. Maybe you're great at organizing and getting things done, but they have to show you some type of compensation, whether it be monetary or something else. There has to be something that you get out of this too. It's just, this isn't just one thing where just one person gives. That's never good. 
even if you're the person given, getting given to, it's going to cause a negative imbalance as well, and there's going to be some other type of fallout for it. Uh, in my opinion, somebody who only gets handouts and just lives on handouts, when push comes to shove, they're just at the mercy of what somebody's willing to give them. They don't really have the ability to choose what they really want. They're only able to choose what is available through the gift. So it, it becomes a negative thing. Um, there's also somebody nagging in your ear. I hope it's not me because I'm clearly doing this reading, but I'm getting like somebody nagging at you that, you know, if you want the stress to stop, you got to make the hard decision. So I hope I'm not that one, but if I'm that one, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> somebody's kind of, I feel like you do have support around you. Somebody's like, you know what, this to change. You don't like what's going on here. This isn't right how this is working out. The other side is just not listening. They, they just, they're taking you for granted. Somebody's taking you for granted. Um, it's time to make the hard decision. It's time to make the hard decision. They're stressed with it. You kind of know what you need to do. You don't want to do it. You're stuck in this rut. You're starting to be stuck in your own version of this rut. Somebody's in this greed rut where they just take, 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 and they're in that greed rut. They don't want to get out of it. You're getting stuck in a give, 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 being depleted rut. This isn't working. This isn't working. Um, I feel like it's obvious you deserve better than that. I feel like you know that, but for some reason you're putting up with this. Um, if this reading is hitting, take it with a grain of salt. I, f I don't know if this is a Sagittarius trait or not, but I feel like you want to believe that people are better than that and that they're going to snap into focus and go, hey, I've been a jerk. I'm going to be good to Sagittarius. That might be a fairy story. It might be. So, sorry. Uh, I feel like this reading is starting to get a little bit brutal. Why is it becoming so brutal? Um, I feel like I don't want to sugarcoat this because I don't want to pretend like this could get better because at this point, if this reading is hitting, they're like, mm, it doesn't look like it's going to get better. It looks like it could get a little bit more... Like, the person who's greedy could become more so... And it's kind of like, you know it's time to get into your flow. You know what you need to do, but you might be resisting it for whatever reason. Um, where this is going, the way it's currently playing out, just so you know, um, you're going to start becoming numb. That's not going to be good for you. Um, you're going to become, even if you already, like, maybe you're looking at the situation, you're like, well, I'm kind of numb now. It's going to get worse it's going to start bleeding into your life. Sagittarius, like all parts of your life, I should say, it's going to bleed into other parts of your life. Sagittarius is an energy that grows and is very open and keeps things moving, is a very movement-oriented, just kind of keep moving, keep going. When that energy kind of dulls down and doesn't really react the way it normally does, one of the gifts of Sagittarius is usually they're quite lucky. At least the Sagittarius, as I know, they have a lot of prosperity because they keep moving the keys, they keep that positive attitude. A lot of good things come to them. When that gets stagnant, so doesn't that good energy. And things are just going to start to drag down in other areas of your life. This is going to start pulling you down in a few different places. We got to start, I shouldn't say snap out of it, I don't think that's fair. We got to start making choices to detach from the greedy energy and start finding something that is more honorable to who you are and how you live and how you need to be. Um, Sagittarius is a beautiful energy that makes a very big difference in the world. It's getting muted out, it's getting damaged, and it's not. you're not flourishing. You're not that beautiful light that you normally are due to what's going on here. Um, and it's not just that, it's, it's not just a gift to you, it's the gift you are to other people is also getting dimmed down. Um, what is that? I mean, I know it's the King of Swords, but like, what does the King of Swords want to say about this situation? Six of Cups, and then the Magician half in, half out. Okay. Sagittarians, uh, all right, so this is, okay. Sagittarian 101. You get involved in too many things, and it wears you out, and then you have to back off, regroup. You get to a good level. Before you know it, you get stuck in too many things. You got to back off. You got to level out. It's, it's like a pattern, right? Um, there's a, if you recognize the pattern for what it is, you don't have to keep hitting this level. This may not be the first time you've hit this level where somebody has taken advantage of you. 
Maybe for some of you it is. Probably not, but maybe. Um, do a self-audit of this situation. When did it start going sour? How did it get worse? Where is it now? How bad could it get? Doing that self-audit may be painful, but I also get that it's going to kind of trigger you to get out of this situation. Also, when it starts happening again, and it seems like it's a cycle, it just seems like it's a Sagittarius cycle. Tell me if I'm wrong, of course. The more you recognize it, the more you see where it's going. When it starts happening again, the sooner you're going to be like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, I already see where this is going. No interest in being there, so it's time to start veering away now before it even gets anywhere near that. The more you address it, the more you recognize it, the less likely you are to repeat it, at least to this level. Um, people like this will always be attracted to Sagittarius. People who um, want, want somebody to do all the work for them, they will be attracted to you. The sooner you recognize them, the sooner you make, that, may make up your mind that I'm not interested in that, the sooner you're going to start veering away from that. You're not going to let that energy in your life, at least not for that long. Keep that in mind. Because this can be a moment where you can be empowered, kind of like, all right, we're in this moment, I don't like it. Getting yourself out of it, great. And then also doing that self-audit, like, how did we get here? Did you deserve it? No. But there's people attracted to your light. Recognizing it sooner, shutting it down sooner is more to your benefit. And the sooner you start recognizing it, kind of like, you know what? I, I should have known. I had that inkling that that wasn't right. It felt wrong when they asked me for this. Or, you know, I started feeling like they were starting to, you know, take advantage of me when that. That was the moment where you should have put your foot down. Not that you had to, but like either put your foot down or go, all right, I need to go a different direction. You know what I mean? So the sooner you recognize it, the better things can go, the less we have to deal with this, the less this has to be a, a, a thing that keeps happening, especially if you can look back and like this just keeps happening, it just keeps happening, it just keeps happening. Hopefully this empowers you to like go, okay, that's not right, it's not my fault, but we don't need that happening again, so when I see this happening again, I'm out. Are we cool? All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below, same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.